Hello everyone, welcome to Laravel. My name is William Juma. In this video, I want to talk about Laravel macros. Laravel macros are a powerful tool that allows you to extend the functionality of core Laravel classes or components without modifying the original source code. This promotes code maintainability and avoids conflicts with future Laravel updates. Macros can be used in various areas which include routes, validation, query building, API responses, caching, just to mention a few. We can create the macros inside the boot method of the app service provider. So inside here, we can be able to have our macros here. Or you can also be able to create the macros inside the boot method of any other service provider that you have created and maybe dedicated it towards handling uh, the macros. So I have two examples, simple ones, which I'm going to talk about in this tutorial video. And after we are done with those, I believe you'll be able to have an insight into what macros are all about. I would want us to begin by running migration. This is Laravel 11. So in Laravel 11, I do not require to set up migration, migrations in the, um, the database because we are using SQLite. And then, of course, we also have some uh, inside database and uh, CDAS. We already have some users here that we can be able to see in our database. So we have user factory create the test user. So this, this comes by default. Or else, if you want to create a little bit more, you can be able to comment this out and be able to create more users. But in this case, this one user will do. So for me to be able to migrate them in the database, I can just be able to run PHP, artisan, db, seed. And now our user is in the database. And if we are to check the migrations in uh, the users table, we have a column that is called the timestamp. So in this case, we have created that and validated that. So we can be able to check in our application how many years a user has been with us since maybe they joined in our application, whatever it is that uh, the record is uh, recorded in the database. So the created art will be the date which they joined, but we can be able to calculate years from then up until now. And I would like us to do that by just using macros. So let us go ahead and um, do that. So I will go to our app service provider. And inside the boot method, I would like to use Carbon. And Carbon is usually a package that assists uh, in PHP um, manipulation of dates. So in this case, we can say use um, Carbon Carbon. And then after that, we can be able to create the Carbon macro. So inside the boot, boot method, and what I can say is a carbon, full colon, a macro. And then after we have it like that, we will have the name of our macro, so how we will be referencing it. So in this case, we can say user years. I know it's a little bit ambiguous, but it means the years that the user has been with us. That is what I mean. And then we have function. And inside the closure of the function, you can be able to pass in some values there. But in the example that I want us to work with, we will not do that. So we can say return this, and we can uh, have a difference in years. So we we'll just have diff in uh, years. And then now we can compare with today. So in this case, I'm going to write here carbon double full colon now. So once we have it like that, then we can be able to reference this user is. And the easiest place where I want us to do that is inside our routing file in web.php. So inside here, I will uh, get the current user. So we can say user will be given by app models user. And then we will find a user with an ID of one since we have already seeded one user in our database. And then after that, we can be able to check user created that. So this is the column in our database. And then we can chain user years like that. And basically, that will be able to find for us whatever it is that we 
require. And just to spit it out, maybe we can do uh, DD. And then now you close it like that and we check. So since our application is already running under localhost and the method that I'm affecting is actually the method that is returning this view that we are having. So before we return the view, we'll be able to spit the edge of the user in our database. And so basically it is displaying something over near. So um, of course we have registered just today. It is not even close to an year, so that's why it's giving us some decimal places there. But if you can be able to do rounding off, you can be able to get maybe zero years or something of that sort. Uh, that is one of the examples that we have been able to look at. I would also want us to look at a different example, whereby sometimes you may want to have the route versioning. And in this case, I'm not going to use API because I will need to install Sanctum and all those other things, I think. If I can be able to explain within web.php, we can be able to have an understanding and then apply it whenever we would want to do it. So I want us to create another macro, which is a route macro. So again, inside our boot method of our service provider, I will add another macro. And in this case, this macro that I want us to, to have is the route macro. And since we are having a route, then it is, it is proper for me to import the routing facade. So in this case, you have use, illuminate, support, facades, and then route. After that, then we can uh, now use the route macro. And basically what I'm doing is, um, is sort of like loading the our application in different versioning of the route. So in this case, if you're working with APIs, you have ever uh, come across an API where you have version one and version two and all that. So you can be able to just use macros to force all the users to use the specific versioning that is currently uh, being uh, used in your application. So if you migrate to version two, you just change in one place, which is the macros, and every other person will now be forced to check to be using the version two of uh, that API. So the name again of whatever it is that we're going to use, I'm just going to call it API version one. And inside here, we are going to have a closure function. We will then pass uh, the URI, and then we will also pass in the action in our closure. After that, then we will go ahead and now return the route. So return, return route prefix. And we can put a prefix here, API forward slash v1. So every route will be forced to use API v1. So if you just access it the normal way, you will have not found. And then now again, we are going to have a group. And inside here have another function. And we will use our URI and action. And then after that, we can be able to now go ahead and return our route and here i'm going to just have route get and you pass in our uri and we will also pass in our action so that is how it looks like and then now inside our web.php is where i want us to affect that we affect a route with um, that uh, versioning so I'm just affecting the web.php routes, the normal routes in your application or the API ones, because I don't want to go into the struggle of creating those things again. So I'm going to have route. And then now, since we called it API v1, so you have API v1 like that. And then now inside here, we can uh, have our route. So we can say uh, the route is the first method or the index method of our application. Then we have function and a closure. And inside here, we are going to return a view, return view. And how we do it as we have above, welcome, because that's the only view that we have in our application. And now, if I am to refresh, because I've commented out whatever it is that we have above there, if I'm to refresh, then I'm going to get not found. Because now, 
our application requires us to use API forward slash v1 like that. So every other route that will be affected by uh, our um, macro, we require to have API v1 as the prefix. So basically, that is all I wanted to share with you. If you like the video, you can give us a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you have a comment, you can shoot in the comment section below. Thank you very much.